Jared here with Direct Igniter. Just want to show you guys a quick little video how to prime and season a brand new pellet stove. So right here we got a brand new Direct Igniter pellet stove, similar to Traeger, Pit Boss, or any of the other big guys on the market. So the first thing we want to do is remove the grill grate out of the barbecue. And we also want to remove our drip pan out of the barbecue. We're going to go ahead and put foil on this drip pan. That way it'll catch all the grease and make for easy cleanup. And then we're also going to remove the heat shield out of the barbecue. And we're going to do this, that way we can watch the pellets go from the pellet hopper to the burn pot and see right when it's primed properly. So the first thing we want to do after we've removed all the parts is go ahead and pour our pellets into the hopper. So I'm going to grab my bag of my favorite pellets, these Bear Mountain pellets. And we're going to go ahead and pour them into the hopper. As you can see, it's a 20 pound bag and it fits in there perfectly. 20 pound pellet hopper. Next thing we're going to do is plug the barbecue in. I've already got this one plugged in, so it's ready to go. So to prime the unit, all we need to do is turn the unit on. And what we're going to do is we're going to wait for the pellets to get from the pellet hopper to the burn pot. Once I see the pellets are falling in the burn pot, we know we've got it properly primed and we can go ahead and restart the unit and go about our first uh, cook or our first seasoning of the barbecue. So we're gonna wait a few minutes here till the pellets get to the burn pot and then we'll proceed with the next steps. All right, now that we've been running for about three minutes, as you can see our pellets are coming out of the auger tube and they're starting to fall into the burn pot, which is exactly what we want. Now that we see that they are falling, what we're going to want to do next is shut the barbecue down and we're going to want to turn the barbecue back on. What this is going to do, it's going to restart the igniter. That igniter is only on for five minutes and it takes the pellets three to four minutes just to get to the igniter. So your first time using a pellet stove or any time you run it out of pellets, you're going to want to use this method to prime the barbecue. And by prime, all we're doing is getting the pellets to fill up the auger tube all the way to here. That way when we start the barbecue, it gets pellets right away. and carefully place that back in without burning yourself. And next, we're just gonna go ahead and foil up our grease pan. Anytime you're putting this drip pan back in, you always wanna make sure that this notch or this hole goes towards your grease bucket, which is on the right side of this unit. So I'm just gonna angle this back in there. Being very careful now that it is extremely hot. All right, now we can go ahead and put our grill grate back in. Close it up and now we're ready to season the grill. The first time you use a pellet smoker, you want to season it. I suggest turning the temp up to about 350 and let it run for about 45 minutes. Then that'll cure the paint and it'll also burn off any oils that are in the barbecue for manufacturing. After that, you are ready to throw your food on here and cook. Thanks for watching. Visit www.directigniter.com.